risk was for Hillary, the tropical system. Yeah. All right. So thanks to our virtual view technology, I'm in Coronado Island in San Diego. Right now, life-threatening hazards are charging up the California coast. And by this evening, yeah, San Diego will be on the red alert for the flooding, strong gusty winds, and we could see waves up to about 10 feet. So uh, yeah, you're going to be in the thick of things a little bit later. So just uh, take that into consideration and plan accordingly. We can see what's going on right now because this is what we're going to continue to watch as we go throughout the day. So right now we're okay. Uh, we're going to pick up the winds as we go throughout the day as well as we continue to time this out for you. This is what we're working with. We will start to have that rain push in across the area. We can see this around Ramona back off towards uh, Escondido. You're going to be in on this as well, San Diego. But then you saw how we started with that light green, right? But then we go into the darker green. So that's some steady rain that we will be in for a while. So again, this goes into your Tuesday. So we start you out this evening and then we go into your Wednesday as well. So this rain is going to continue to add up and it is really going to pose a problem. So of course, we're going to be talking about flooding concerns for sure. So rain still to come right through your Wednesday. We just showed you that we can see the yellow will be the highest amounts up to about four inches in some spots out there uh, and take into consideration. You know, San Diego doesn't even get this much in an entire year, so it's going to be uh, a, a tough go for sure. So this is what it looks like right now as we head over towards San Jose. We can see that rain trying to work its way in more of the same towards us, San Francisco too. But look at the winds now. We can see those gusts up to about 33 miles an hour in some spots. But as the day goes on, oh yeah, those winds are going to howl. 50 to 60 mile an hour wind in San Jose. We're looking and even as we go into the interior, about 40 to 50 mile an hour winds. Now the weather uh, with the maps here because this is the bigger picture of it. We do have severe thunderstorm warnings out there and we also do, do have tornado warnings. So let's go ahead and start with the tornado warning that's actually inside the severe thunderstorm warning at this point. So this is for the counties of Miami-Dade, cities of Hialeah, Kendale Lakes and also Miami. This goes until 1130 this morning. So we do have that velocity mode on. When we see this, we're looking for the greens and those yellow, the greens and the reds, I should say, up close to each other. And that kind of shows us a little bit of a rotation going on there. Again, when we look at this, this is more in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere, but it shows you what could be happening down at the ground as well. So with this, we have a tornado warning, and that means that you do need to be in a safe spot at this point. Again, make sure you put a lot of um, uh, walls between you and the outside, and also don't forget to cover your head. A lot of things fly around in tornadoes, and that's how a lot of people get injured because of that. Let's uh, start uh, tracking this out for you. So at 1117, we're looking at Miami, 1120 West Little River, and 1124 Little River, 1126 Miami Beach. So again, this will continue to work its way on off towards the north and east. And Aventura, you will be under this at about 1130 1131. So you need to know exactly where you're going to go. This is a, a dire situation. Whenever we're talking about tornadoes and tornado warnings, even tornado watches, that means that conditions are favorable for tornadoes. And we actually do have tornado watch today until about two o'clock in the afternoon. So once again, if you're just joining us here, we do have a tornado warning for the county of Miami Day. That's a lot of people uh, that live in this county, the cities of Hialeah and also Kendale Lakes and also Miami until 1130. We're dealing with um, some horizontal rain has been being reported with this. So damaging gusty winds, an issue to get the rain going sideways like this. And once again, here's Miami. If you are going to be traveling and you should not be traveling along these uh, interstates now. So 836, 395. Again, this will continue to push on off towards the north and east. 95, you're going to be under this before it's all said and done. And again, this is a tornado warning that's inside severe thunderstorm warning. So not only are are we dealing with the tornadic winds, but again, we are dealing with those um, uh, those those damaging gusty winds and we can time it out again. We're picking up new count new cities, new counties that are under this, but this is the city of Gladeview, 1119 Liberty Square, 1119 Lemon City at 1121 and Little River, 1122 and Miami Shores at 1123. Again, get to the lowest level of your home right now. Paul, over to you. I just took a live look. But we still do have that tornado watch that expires at two o'clock, so we could see more tornadoes before it's all said and done, unfortunately, for today. And when we're talking about the severe thunderstorm warnings, yes, this is where 
where we're going to be watching because when we have severe thunderstorm warnings, especially on a day like this, those thunderstorms will drop what's going on. It will drop those tornadoes. So again, the tornado warning has expired and now we're just dealing with the severe thunderstorm warnings. And when I say now we're just dealing with, no, these are still um, very potent and very serious. And one reason is, is because again, we have the threat that has the tornado possible, that tag on it. And most likely when we see the severe thunderstorm warnings for this morning, and even as we go into the afternoon, they will have that tag. So we can see right here, Miami Gardens is in on this. Again, Miami, you're in on this. We do have plenty of lightning with these uh, thunderstorms as of now. These will continue to work on way on off towards the east, plenty of rain being put down. And in some of these thunderstorm warnings, they even had penny sized hail out there as well. So really all modes of severe weather on the table. We can time this out for you when we're looking at uh, Aventura, 1133 around Hollywood. We're looking at 1134 Oak Point. You'll be at about 1137. So with these these uh, severe thunderstorm warnings, when you have that tornado possible tag, make and treat these like we're actually dealing with tornado warnings. So know your safe spot, know where you're going to go, and actually uh, go there until it actually passes. As we look at this other one that we have, this one is for the county of Palmdale. We're looking at uh, this until 1145. Again, we're looking at that tornado possible and uh, lots of rain and wind with this moving through the area now. Uh, those winds gusting up to about six miles an hour in a lot of spots here uh, with these severe thunderstorm warnings that we're going to be working with. Uh, we do have the velocity mode on. Uh, not seeing um, uh, uh, a real tight rotation, I should say, uh, but there's something to be said about this. And again, this is why that that tag says uh, tornado possible. But with that said, we're looking at the severe thunderstorm warnings and instead of more of a tornadic that spin, we're looking at more of a damaging wind threat here. Again, these winds in excess of about 60 miles an hour headed outside of the actual uh, severe thunderstorm warning. So as we continue to monitor this for you, we will uh, continue to watch plenty of threats with this. So again, we do have the wind, but we also do have plenty of rain coming in. And like Molly touched, we're not even talking about the rainy season here in Florida. Yes, it is in California, but not in Florida. Here we go with the tornado watch. This is the one that goes until 2 o'clock. So when we talk about tornado watches, different from a tornado warning, it basically means that conditions are favorable favorable for tornadoes and boy are the conditions favorable for tornadoes and this is why this morning we've been dealing with tornado warnings that means that it's imminent the tornado has been spotted by the Doppler radar that's basically what we've been seeing or observed by someone so this is what we have once again if you're just joining us we've been dealing with tornado warnings right now we do not have any tornado warnings out there but we still do have active severe thunderstorm warnings for the counties of Broward Miami Dade and this goes until 11 o'clock 11:45 five, I should say, uh, more accurately. And then we do have that tag of the tornado possible. So again, treat this like we actually are dealing with a tornado warning. And then we can see what's going on here. Another one, this will continue to work its way again on off towards the north and east. North Miami is in on this. Lots of lightning with this thunderstorm right here. Again, around Pembroke Pines, it is uh, moving through that area as well. Again, lots of rain. We're going to continue to watch this. Lots of gusty winds happening with this severe thunderstorm warning as well. So we can see some of the low Local storm reports right now. Wind 67 miles an hour. This is at the University of Miami Health System. And we could see again the reports of a 67 mile an hour wind. So these thunderstorms are really moving through and they're really causing some problems out there. So uh, don't be out on the roadways. You definitely need to get a safe spot. Treat these severe thunderstorm warnings that we're telling you about like we're actually dealing with. We have uh, some plenty of rain coming in across the area as well. And also, again, we do have a uh, flash flooding to talk about. But in the meantime, this is what we have right now. So we're on the calmer side in a lot of spots. Um, Jensen, I'm going to need you to click for me, if you will. And we can see that these winds will continue to pick up as we go throughout the day. So we look at Santa Clarita, those winds picking up around 25 to 30 miles an hour. But also look at the green, right? You're starting to see the green really overtake uh, the area around Palmdale. We're seeing this around Los Angeles. Again, Santa Ana. This is going to be the scenario with the rain, even when the winds die back down. But don't think that the winds are going to stay 
they die down. No, the winds will continue uh, to move in and to pick up through your Wednesday. So that's going to be the name of the game. And the name of the game is, is this rain still to come right through your Wednesday? Again, we're Sunday right now. So we're talking about Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is a long uh, type of event that we're going to be working with. And we can see that in the way of the rain. Look at this. We look at the oranges. We can see up to about seven inches in some spots out there. This is what it looks like right now in San Diego. We're okay. We can see what's going on down off towards uh, Ramona as well, Escondido, but we put it into motion and then that's when we see that overflow of the green coming in and we have shades of green. The darker green, that's some steady rain that we will be working with along I-8, 15, 5. So we're talking about your major interstates around San Diego not the best time to be driving. And remember, you have the rain, you have the wind. It is going to be rough off the coast. We're also going to be talking about uh, some waves that will be generating very high waves that we'll be seeing as well. Molly, over to you.